Everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. Coach, another uh, big game coming up, uh, non-conference game is Newton North. Yeah, it's our classic uh, Super Bowl Sunday matchup. Newton's coming in here with a real good record, as always, and always a very tough game. What do you know about them coming out of the Bay State? Uh, they've got some very good shooters, very, very good shooters, and they will make it tough for us on defense. I'm expecting rather a low-scoring game today, probably. What's their Achilles heel that you've seen on tape so far to break them up? Well, I think maybe we can uh, out-rebound them and get to get ourselves some baskets inside from our big guys. A very good coach. The best of luck. Thank you very much. We'll be back with the tip-off right after this. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's matchup between the Brockton Bosses and the visiting Newton North Tigers. Brockton High School would like to take this opportunity to encourage you to display a good sportsmanship to everyone involved. Please do your part by showing respect to everyone involved in today's contest. Inappropriate behavior, a verbal criticism of coaches, players, and officials will not be tolerated and may result in your removal from the gymnasium. This game is being played according to the rules of the Massachusetts Interscholastic Athletic Association. For your convenience, restrooms are located by the main foyer. Also, support our booth by visiting the snack bar located by the main entrance to the gym. Fresh cake bar pizza is available today. And thank you for today's platinum sponsors. W.B. Mason, Brockton Police Patrol Association, and Happy It's Mom. We greatly appreciate your support. And now for tonight's starting line. First, the visitors from Logan North, Tigers. Number two, Tyson, Tommy. Number three, Khalil, Watson. Number 11, Tommy. Everybody, welcome to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano. Again, joined by my partner in crime, Miles Jackson, as we get ready for another. It gets it gets even better now, Miles. We got another great contest as the uh, Bay State Conference visiting Newton North Tigers visit Brockton High. Yeah, Brockton High has been tested quite a bit the last couple of weeks. 
And uh, what better way to start off Super Bowl Sunday in the afternoon with 11-1. Um, Rock and Box is going up against 11 and 2 Newton North Tigers. Yeah, they do. One thing about Brock, and they even in every, every sport, they always uh, find the best opponents, not just in the state, but around around the area to play. Out of state opponents as well. All right, so here we go as we get ready to be Brock and high school boys basketball as they come into this contest 11 and 1, and the Tigers coming in at I believe 11 and 2. And that's one by the tip, one by the Tigers, and they run the way. Yeah, Tigers, good, good sized team. So it'll be a real challenge on the boys for the boxers. And just like that, two nothing. Here comes Blakely. Blakely looking for a cutter. Over the big man back and forth we go just like that. He over from Nick is originally driving his Blake when he's blocked. Nice job by Bake Bakley getting into the paint. Unfortunately, um, defense was on it there for New North Tigers. So Robinson on the inbound for the boxers. There's Reed now. Reed's gonna use his big body. Kicks it out to uh, Beagle. He that misses. Rebound Tigers. And they're working around the perimeter. Oh, that's nice something Robinson at the last night. Yeah, good read right there by Robinson on the pass. Now at the end, there's a baseline shot. Hits. Just under a minute left in, a minute gone, excuse me, in this first period. Good call right there. Nice defense, but good call. He did travel. So it'll be Brockton's ball in the Tigers' end, and we're going to have a little bit of a conference. Uh, probably an adjustment. I was going to say the clock's fine. Robinson on the inbound. He's over to Blake. Here. Let's see if he drives. Ooh, nice spin. Well, kicks it back out to Dingo. going to get him with a. A little travel, it's got a little carry on case in that one. We'll have a change of possession, it'll be Tiger's ball. On the inbound, I thought, that for a second, I thought I was gonna see more than one uh, boxer on the full court press, but uh, smartly they go back, and go back into their zone. Couple switches now driving, stopping, kicks it back out, there's a shot, that hits. And just like that, it's seven nothing Tigers. Yeah, Nichols gonna have to get out, get outside there with the center because he can shoot that outside shot. He's gonna have to get more of his, more of a hands in his face. Oh, oh talk about a hot shot! He, had, he literally had it in his face as Reed. Come on, Reed! He literally had a guy hit in his face. Exactly. That was just strength that got him that basket. He'll be rewarded with um, a chance for a three-point play here. And he completes the three-point play, and Brock is on the board, down by four. Six minutes left in the first period. As the Tigers move it around, thinking about shooting the long ball, kicks it up to the far baseline. Here's a shot for three. That's no good. Rebound Nichols and Blakely. You see the lane, and how can that not be a foul on the shoulder in the face? Yeah, there was some body contact there, but the refs didn't see it. Well, well wasn't it given away the way his head was like coming off his shoulders? <laughs> I don't mean to sound like too much like a homer, but that was pretty obvious. Yeah. All right, so we have an inbound pass in the Tigers end. Now Blakely works around the Robinson. Robinson driving baseline. Ooh, nice move. He goes around the big man and finishes the lead is two. Yeah, beautiful move by Robinson. Good, good um, hand control with that ball. Put off the glass. And we're going to get Reed on to follow his first team first. Yeah, I didn't see a lot on it. It looked like he got ball more than anything. They were close. Yeah. And um, a tough call there on uh, Avon Reed. Yeah, it definitely looked like he had to possess the ball before he actually made any type of physical contact. 
And with that being said, now the Tigers. Tigers in the boxes and up by two. 5.23 and running in this first period. Almost losing the ball. Nice defense by Robinson. They took it around to the far side of the perimeter. Thinking about grabbing right down line. Now he stops. Kicks it inside. Good read by Dingle. He's going to try to finish. And there's no call on that one. And now the Tigers are going to try to run it from the full way. They stop. And they're definitely going to get a travel right at the five minute mark. Yeah, that, that was a nice defensive play by Biddle. And uh, unfortunately, no call at the other end when he went up that shot. All right, so that being said, now here come the boxes. Down by two. Nichols using his big frame. Oh, what a nice move. Yeah, a little acting job right there by the big man for Newton. But the rest didn't go for it. No. Good job, inside move by um, Blake, excuse me, um, Nichols. Now tied at seven with 4.30 left in this first period. Kicks it back out to the far side, inside a floater won't go. Rebound, Brockton. And now Blakely. Wants to go right, originally goes left inside. He has someone, Biddle, Biddle's up. Gets blocked. Enough athletic ability. Here's a long three for yes! Robinson. That was pretty. Yeah, yeah. And Robinson needs that shot early on in this game to get his, get his outside shot confidence going. That was downtown. Yeah. Now the Tigers. Two big men. The big man for the Tigers now top. They're working all the way around the perimeter. Almost lost it. Six seconds, and we're going to get a foul on Biddle. Yeah, it was contact. That was a legit call. His Biddle. first team second. And on the inbound in the Brockton end. I've seen that bite teams in the butt. You know, trying to inbound it. There's a little floater after Ooh, he runs right nice. down the base. And they're gonna call that on Biddle. Oh, no, they're not. Good non-call. Good non-call. That was inf inc incidental contact. Yeah, incidental contact, exactly, Dom. All right, so they finally worked that out. Now 3.30 left in this period. The Brockton lead is now 1-10-9. And now I believe we have a three-second. Yeah, and, and Biddle needs to come out because yep. he's a little bit emotional right now. And we're going to get Isaac, Isaac Lane in the, in the uh, play. There's my favorite boxer right there. All right, down, up, down by one. Tigers trying to take the lead. Here's a thinking about three. He stops. They work it around the top of the key. Trying to set up a pick. Nice switch by the boxes on defense on that one. They try to work it inside. Seven seconds. And we're going to have a jump ball. Nice call. Yeah. And possession arrow goes in favor of the boxes. Yeah, good defense by the boxes there in the paint. A lot of traffic in there. And they got their hands on the ball. All right, so here we go with 3.01 officially left in this first period. Box is up by one, 10-9. Now Ola in the game. And they, that's a good guy for a second. I don't know why. I thought they were going to call that against the boxes. Yep. All right, so the inbound pass in the Tigers and all the way out to Lane. Lane bounce pass inside. We're going to have an offensive push oh. on Reed. Well, that, and that's uh, number two. And that's that's tough break right there for the boxes, taking one of their um, blue chips out of the starting lineup. Yeah. But smartly, they get let him take a break yep. after his composure. Now Xavier checks in. I mean, Coach Bowen really doesn't have a choice with two minutes, 43 seconds still in the first period. There's a long three. That's overshot. Rebound, Benton. Now Robinson's going to drive. We switch his oh. hand. It's blocked. Nice play by the Tigers in transition. 
for three. Won't go. Box is on the rebound, fast break. Here comes Robinson. Now he stops for his three. Hits. Yes. yes. Boxes extend their lead to four with 2-11 and running here in the first period. Now the Tigers, what they do very well, excellent ball moving by the Tigers. Now eight seconds on the shot clock, trying to go inside, we are gonna have a foul. I think they call, they call him Bento, I think. No, not no, uh, not the not number 25 there, I believe. So they call that on Xavier. His first team fourth. On the inbound. Tigers moving around. Oh, Robinson had a nice place. Trying to regain two guys. Tried to beat it. Hit his pocket. Bento now. They're going to get him for a travel. Yeah, the pass caught Bento off guard. So another change of possession. Officially 145 left in the period. And a four point lead for the boxes, 13 to nine. Off the inbound. Let's see how the Tigers adjust to this Brockton defense. Thinking about driving, he stops. Goes to his right, works up to the inside of the baseline. Works his way back out. Robinson almost had another steal. There's a jump shot, hits. Oh, nice. Nice pop right there, about eight feet away from the basket. And we got a... That's gonna be a number three for the Tigers. Yeah, it's about, it's about time. Uh, Brock just hasn't been in a lot of calls, and they've been going to the basket quite a bit. A lot of contact, but no calls. Now they work it back out. All of them, over to Xavier. Xavier looks back for three, that's off, rebound Tigers. Approaching one minute left in this period. There's another baseline shot, that's off. Rebound, Xavier with the speed, opens it up, gets out the lane. And Lane lost control over the ball. Yeah, Lane was ready to go to the lane. He was. He was. <laughs> Fifty seconds in running left in this period, and a two-point lead for the boxes. We're actually down seven nothing at one point in this first period. They work it around the top of the perimeter. Now try thinking about driving, and we got to take it. Takes a foul. See, we got that on. They are going to call that an Olawu. I know I'm pronouncing his name wrong. I apologize. I'm trying to get those vowels in. Yeah, Olawu. Yes. Olawu. So number 32, we'll get you those numbers, those numbers down, hopefully by the second period. Hits the first. The lead is one. Officially 37.2 tenths of a second left in this period. And a 13-12 boxes lead, trying to tie the game. He can't. Rebound, Brockton. Had and here comes Mr. Lane. Had a small collision there on the boards. Can't forget, they're gonna get him for dragging his pivot foot. We'll wow. have a change of possession. Wow. We'll have an inbound pass, ball right, right in front of us. Brockton's playing a man-to-man. -man. All of them pick the puck. What a great play defensively. He pivots, feeds Robinson. And that should have been goaltending. That should have been goaltending. Now with two seconds, long shot hits. Wow, tough call, tough non-call. Bowen doesn't like it. I don't blame him. All right, with the end of the period, your score, Tigers 15, Boxes 13. And here is my my buddy. What are your, your thoughts on that first period? Well, Boxes really playing hard. They've been going to the basket quite a bit. They just haven't been getting the calls as they go to the basket. Um, it's kind of hurt them there a little bit. 
right now. They've got 16 fouls, and New North only has two, and um, it should be a little bit more balanced than that. You know, you, you hate to whine a little bit, but definitely there's been some non-calls out there on the boxes. So um, they just got to keep doing what they're doing, and hopefully things will turn around for them. But they've done a pretty good job, it's only down by two with um, the way things are going out there on the court. And uh, that, 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 that should have been a um, goaltending. Ball went off the, Todd Robinson took it off the uh, glass and the shot was blocked off the glass, but no call. Tough break right there for the boxes. And you can see the, the players, especially Todd Robinson saying, hey, I thought if you put it off the glass and, and, and the guy blocks it off the glass, that, that's, that's two points, automatic. And nothing was called. Ooh, nice inside move, but nice defense by the boxes. Ooh, nice jumper by Isaac Lane. All right, so here we go. Now come, here come the Tigers. That's Brothers, covered by Robinson. Tied at 15. Swing it! Swing it! And that's Duncan, top of the key. That's over to Berber. Long shot won't go, and then out of bounds. That was a great defensive play by Lane, because he was um, out of position and he used his leaping ability to knock that ball out of bounds and not let the Newton North player who had position get that rebound. On the inbound pass in the Brockton end. And we're gonna have another Olable. He'll have his first foul and that'll put him in the one and one situation. So that will put Andre to the charity stripe. Yeah, good call right there. The body made contact by the Brockton player. He hits this, he gets another shot. Here's his first shot, hits the first. He currently gives the Tigers a one point lead, a 16 to 15. Just underway here in, in this second period. I still can't believe they call goaltending. Hits the second, two point lead. Checking in is Lofton. Also checking in is Landry. All the wool now. Covered by Andre. Works it over to Robinson. Robinson driving. His flow to high up the glass. Ooh, he almost hit. He'll go to the charity strap for a couple. Yep, Todd, nice, nice drive to using his left hand because of the defense and almost made the shot, but he was fouled. So we're gonna do our post game. We're gonna try to get the uh, one of the box boxes players before we wrap it up tonight. Today, I should say, this afternoon. Add that to our feature. Hits them both, and we're tied at 17. Approaching seven minutes mark. Seven minutes left in this first half. Blakely getting ready to check in for the boxes. That's off. Wow, air ball. Yeah, and. Um, Duncan knew it too. All right, gotta get that boxer rhythm down. Here comes Blakely now. Oh, nice move. Stops. Over the lane. Lane trying to go around Duncan. He slipped on the parquet. Now trying to finish off the glass and a nice move. Wow, that was. It's Lofton. Great move on adjusting to the defense. And the Tiger lead is two. Lane for Dang. three. A little oh. shake and bake out there in the three point range. That was, that that was, was two points. That was a nice release and nice mechanics. Now the Tigers trying to drive inside. Nice, yeah. nice call. Offensive charge, Xavier took that all the way. Yeah, nice positioning by Xavier. And that's Lofton's third, I think. 
A lot of substitution going on right now on both ends of the court. Biddle checks in, Nichols checks in. And here come the Tigers, tied at 19, approaching the six minute mark left in this first half. Biddle thinking about using the speed, he's driving, oh nice inside pass to Nichols, oh he overshot it. And we're gonna have a foul. Yeah, nice, nice dish off by Diamond Blakely. To the big man, he just couldn't finish it and he's really um, disappointed in himself. His We've teammates are just kind of um, encouraging him, don't worry about it. Absolutely. So that was on Burton for the Tigers. Again, that was a beautiful dish off by Blakely really in the paint. Parent now also is in the game for the boxes. Now Robinson's gonna, try, I mean, Blakely's gonna try to drive and he tried to get himself a raffle ticket for the 50-50. <laughs> I got mine. <laughs> As you can tell, I try to lighten the mood every now and then. On the inbound inside, So we'll have another in inbound pass in the Tigers end. Officially 5.49 left in this first half. Blakely. He'll get the guys moving around. And if he won't, Bowen definitely will. Yes. Coach Bowen. Yes. Now Parent. Biddle. Thinking about trying to get inside the Nichols. He can. Nichols took on two guys all by himself. I don't know if you saw that on the floor. That ball is moving. Yes. That's a strong young man. Yes, he is. All right, we'll have another inbound pass as Parent smirks at the ref. Almost like, hey, we're gonna do this again. Now Xavier, all the way over, and a uh, not great a good, read. Not a good decision right there. You know, lesson learned on that one is, as Duncan easily laid uh. it up, and now we're gonna have a foul on Andre. Yeah, obvious foul. All over Diamond's back. Not a smart foul either. No. But Diamond Blakely had him beat. Telegraphed is the right way to call that. That, that pass was telegraphed. Saw it coming and took advantage of his God given speed. Now off the inbound. In the Tigers' end, here is Pan. He's going to try to drive. Baseline kicks it back out to Biddle. Biddle's going to try to drive. His float off the Whoa. Oh, nice move. Beautiful move. Oh, oh, oh. oh baby. Timeout, timeout, Tigers. Yep, we're tied at 21. 5.04 left in this first half. Just like we thought it was going to be. Another good opponent. 11 and 2 coming out of the Bay State, out of the carry division. As these uh, Newton North Tigers, uh, they got a lot of talent on this team. Yeah, they do. And it's, it's just been a super first half with the talent on each, each team. The boxers got a lot of talent. Coming in here 11 and 1. Newton North got a lot of talent coming in here 11 and 2. So, what we're going to have is a super matchup going on right now in front of our eyes here at Staff Gymnasium. Yep. Absolutely. And then, like we talked about the Cambridge Original Latin game, this potentially could be a matchup in the South Section. Definitely could be. All right. So, the boxes are going to come out with Biddle, Parent, Nichols, Blakely, and Xavier. And it looks like the Tigers are going to come out with, I want to make sure I get these guys' names right. Looks like Burton, Berber, and another guard comes out, number five, Belchay. As they work around the they work around the perimeter. Very good passing by these by the Tigers. And they work around again, now inside pass, trying to finish. Oh, oh. What a great job by Nichols, but the Tigers are there and trying to finish. alley oh. too much on it. Nice defense by the boxes there. Now Parent, see what he does. He's gonna try to finish. And we're gonna have a foul. Call that on Bullshit. Yeah, great defense by the boxes. G two great defensive blocks um, against the Tigers. And Parent will go to the free throw line. He did a nice job using his body on he that. Did. So with that being said, both teams are now in the penalty. It's the first. So we have the pleasure of talking with 
Elizabeth Williams, the sophomore starter for the girls team, if she remembers, talk to her at the half, talk about the big matchup they got coming up Tuesday night. Hits the second one, I thought that'd be pretty fun, you know? Yeah, Elizabeth Warren, great sophomore ball player for the boxers. A lot of skills. Now the tag is off the inbound. That's trying to work off the screen. Kicks it back off the bullshit. Over to Duncan. Duncan's going to try to drive. Looked like he traveled. He definitely traveled. Brockton really making the Tigers work for their shots with the great defense. So Landry checks in. And it looks like Bar Barber checks out. Now Blakely. He can take off and there's a speed. I was just going to say that. Ooh. Oh, nice move. His shot. That's off. Rebound Tigers. Boy. And here comes Hargens. Duncan. Tries to work it inside, back to Landry. Landry trying to get a shot over Nichols, and he catches Nichols off guard, and it's a nice little baseline Yeah, Nichols shot. should have been a little bit more in his face. He put his hand up, but he really should have been more in his face, playing a little bit tougher defense. Tied at 23. Blakely, his floater with the right hand won't go. Almost got his own rebound, but the Tigers picked that up. Now the Tigers, they stop. Out of bounds, little miscommunication between Andre and Bolchette. Bolchette. 322 officially left in this in this first half, tied to 23. Yeah, miscommunication on Tigers because of great defense by the boxes. Now Blakely. Kicks it all the way out to the baseline. Read back in the game. Parent. Thinking three, he spins, stops, works it, works it back to the top of the perimeter. He's going to try to drive the whole way, and he got fouled, tripped. Yeah, got no tripped. Call. Rebound Tigers. Here come the Tigers now. Under three minutes left in this first half. Here's a baseline shot. Hits as Bochette makes. Nice, nice rhythm on that. Nice release. Yeah, the Tigers have hit all day from those either uh, either side of the court on those uh, long bombs. They're kind of deadly. Now Reed. And we'll have a foul on the floor. That'll be on Bouchette. His second team eighth. Bento and Lane getting ready to check in for the boxers. This is the first. Nickers will take a break. Bento will come in. Robinson will go in for Biddle. And Lane will go in for Parent. Well, I'm getting a good. I'm trying to get these names out even better now. <laughs> we almost sound like we know what we're doing. So here's the second shot. And he doesn't get the bounce. He misses them both. Now the Tigers currently up by three, 26-23. 220 and running left in his first half. Inside pass as Bovell was not expecting that. Now he regroups. Covered by Reed. Kicks it back out to the far side to Duncan. Duncan covered by Robinson. Six seconds in the shot clock. He tries to go by himself and he's fouled. Let's see if they call it on. Ah. Got to call uh. the biggest guy in the court, right? Yeah, Navon Bento. Reed. Oh, Navon. I thought he said 33. I thought he said 43. Oh, might have. I'm hoping. Okay, maybe he did call it on. Hits Let's see. the first. Yeah, number 43. So, Bent Nichols back in. Officially 206 left in this first half now. And the Tigers lead is 4, 27-23. Both teams with eight team fouls. Hits them both. The lead is five. Approaching two minutes left in this first half. Blakely thinking about driving. Kicks it over to Lane. Lane, baseline to Reed. 
Going to try to drive baseline. His little floater. Little tip in the middle. Ball loose. Covered by the Tigers. Now Duncan. Tigers doing a nice job on the defensive boards there, fighting for the ball. They made a good adjustment, realizing there's going to be a lot of white shirts under there. Yeah. Landry thinking about going. Kicks it out to Duncan. Duncan trying to drive, uses speed. He's fouled. Oh, wow. That was a ticky tack call right there. And Duncan will go to the charity strike. Ah, uh, on Diamond. Very, and he doesn't agree, and I don't blame him. That, that really was the ticky tack foul called on the boxes there. And early on, the, the box is going to the basket and a lot of contact and nothing was called. And the lead he, uh, hits his first. Officially 131 left in this first half. Hits them both. He extends the lead to seven. Yeah, this Newton North team, they're a good free throw shooting team. Box has been doing a pretty good job up until uh, Navi missed those two. Robinson. Out to Lane. Lane works himself to the top of the key. He steps back for three. Bang! And bang. Wow. That was pretty. When Rob, when uh, Lane gets in that little dribble mood and groove, Very and smooth. then he steps back, smooth as silk. Now Duncan. Over to Landry. Landry thinking three. This time Nichols is ready for him. Duncan inside. And they have an offensive foul. Nice job by Diamond. As Burton, by the offensive, called the offensive foul. Yeah. 54.5 tenths of a second. The Tigers' lead is now four. We've seen it as big as seven, and the boxers have always worked their way back. Yeah, I don't see how the Newton North guard could, could um, argue with that. I, I mean, I he know. put his elbow into <laughs> Blakely's chest, and he went down. He, he might as well put mustard on that elbow because he ate it. Exactly. Or catch up, whatever they, you know. <laughs> whatever you like. Exactly. Now Blakely. Xavier in the game now. Driving, stopped, lost his momentum. And the ball. And the ball. Turn over. Here comes Duncan. Trying to finish. Excellent defense by Nichols under yes. the hoops. As Bovell couldn't finish. Now oh. Blakely with a nice move trying to go around. Duncan off the glass. And Landry with the block. Wow. I know Blakely wanted to dish off, but it was good defense. He couldn't find um, the big man underneath because a lot of uh, arms and wave in there. So good defense by Newton North on that play. Shot clock off down to nine seconds left in this half. Oh, uh, where's the travel? Oh, and we got to travel. So with 5.7 tenths of a second and a four point lead for the Tigers, now Lane. Lane will get the last shot. Here's the foul, yes. yes. Thank and, you. And they'll go for the charity stripe, 4-2. Re really, with five seconds left, that, 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 that's... Yeah, you know, that happened at the half court. Yeah, that, that, that's not a, a good defensive play right no. there. They, they, they should have let them go a little bit. You know, you only got a few seconds left in the half. Hits the first. And the second, misses the second. And on a long pass. Oh, he blew it. He did. Nice yeah. try, nice try by Duncan. So here it is at the half. Your score, Tigers 30, Boxers 27. Before we step away, you gotta get your thoughts and your comments. I tell you, it's been a very exciting ball game. Um, both teams been playing real good defense. Uh, and Brockton, what I like about Brock, they've really been going to the hole quite a bit in this game. They've Took a few outside shots, but most of their game has been in the paint, trying to draw the foul and um, get Newton North in some foul trouble. They've done a good job hanging in there, only down by three points in this uh, first half. Hi, everybody. We're at the half. Dominic Damian with Alex Williams. So uh, your thoughts seeing the boys uh, battle it out with Newton North. What do you think? I mean... What do you think? Do you think we got to work on... Are we too slow to the ball? Do you... Is it no. just the free throws killing us? What do you think? I don't really know. I was like talking during it, but. Well, from what you saw. Uh, they need to get to, to James because they're too little. Like they're little, New yeah. North is. 
All right, so now the girls are six and nine. You guys have a big game coming up Tuesday, and we're gonna be here for that. And who are you, who are you guys playing Tuesday? Do you remember? I think New Bedford. Say again? New Bedford. New Bedford. So now they have this new league, this new Southeast Conference League with Bridgewater, Raynham, and, and Dartmouth. Does that mean anything to you? Could you care less who your opponent is? Not are you that type of a player? I don't really care. Right. So what do you think the girls? What, what do you think the girls need to work on for that game to get ready? Because you're only a couple. You're only a couple wins away from making the playoffs. If you think about it, you're right. Th you're right there. Four wins, yeah. No, we need to freaking do ball movement. Be do but, ball movement because like we could just push it every yeah. time. Push it. And you proved that the last game. You had a lot of a lot of fast breaks. You guys can yeah. run with anybody, right? You're always in the middle of the, in the game. So what did you, now, you played freshman last year, and you're a starting varsity player this year. No, I played varsity last year as a freshman. See, even better. See, now people know. At least I didn't know that. I apologize. Oh. So what did you do What did you do this hat this, this year to get ready for the uh, varsity level that you learned from last year? Did you work in your ball more? Oh, yeah, shooting? not uh, going out there and fouling. Yeah? Yeah, basically that. And how about your free throw shooting? It, was, it got better. Cool. So how good, what, now you played New Bedford before, right? Have you played them yet? Yeah, we lost by like two or one. And what was the cause, what do you think caused us that problem? Going in there thinking we were gonna beat them by 20. Yeah, so mindset has to change. What? Mindset, yeah, has, basically, mindset yeah. definitely has to change. All right, very cool, thank you for taking the time. You have fun? Yeah. Not bad. Hey, I'll see you Tuesday. Okay. All right, we'll be back with the uh, second half right after this. My part-time service in the Army National Guard makes it possible for me to be more for the community I call home. I'm a better neighbor because my service has taught me how important it is to be a team player. My training helps me in my classes when I must give attention to detail to the task at hand. My service in the Army National Guard allows me to keep my community and those I care about safe from threats. Learn more about how you too can live and serve part-time close to home by visiting nationalguard.com. Mi servicio de medio tiempo en la Guardia Nacional del Ejército hace posible que esté presente para la comunidad a la que llamo hogar. Soy un mejor vecino porque mi servicio me ha enseñado a entender lo importante que es ser miembro de un equipo. Mi servicio también me permite estar disponible para mi comunidad de maneras que otros no pueden. Ayudo a mis vecinos a ponerse de pie después de desastres naturales. Mi servicio en la Guardia Nacional del Ejército me permite mantener a salvo de amenazas a mi comunidad, a nuestro país y a quienes me importan. Visita nationalguard.com para saber cómo puedes vivir, trabajar y servir medio tiempo cerca de tu comunidad. Everybody Welcome back to Staff Gymnasium. I'm Dominic Damiano, joined by Miles Jackson and the rest of the Br Brockton. I got to get this right. Brockton Community Access TV Sports Crew. And we're at the half. And currently, the new, the visiting Newton North Tigers are up by three, 30 to 27. You touched on your thoughts as far as going away from that first half. Your thoughts coming into the second half. Well, I can see the second half being very intense by both sides of the, um, the parquet here. And um, it's just a matter of who out hustles who. And um, I hate to say it, but uh, and who, who gets the calls? Because that, in that first half, I didn't see a lot of, uh, I saw calls that weren't called yeah. uh, for Brockton. As many times they drove to the basket and no calls. It's just uh, unbelievable. But hopefully they can overcome that in the second half. Absolutely. The Tigers, excuse me, the Boxers' next game, I had it written down here somewhere, is Tuesday night. We will have the girls' game as the Whalers come in. The Lady Whalers come in to Staff Gymnasium. And the boys will travel to New Bedford as we switch over back, as we switch back over to conference play. Yeah, that, that'll be a big game for the Lady Boxers. That they came out with a nice win the other night. I believe they're about six and nine right now, but um, hopefully they continue on their winning ways and uh, maybe somehow get into the playoffs. I'm not sure. Absolutely. They're right on the edge. They're going to control their own destiny. And one big hurdle they have is the, the number one team in the south is they have to travel over to Bridgewater Raynham wow. and take on the Lady, the lady uh, Trojans. Trojan. So that's going to be a tough one. Well, hopefully... Um, Coach for the Lady Boxes, I'm just drawing a blank, but she did a oh, nice Morgan job. Morgan Thatcher, yes, yeah. Morgan Thatcher. She did a real nice job the other night with the she Lady did. Boxes to um, come out of because that game was kind of close at the end of the half, and she they, she um, 
a different game plan in the second half and just basically blew out the um, the opponent. All right, so it'll be the Tigers on the inbound. As you can see him on the far side as Duncan will inbound the ball. Boxes are going to go are Robinson, Blakely, Biddle, Reed, and Nichols. Off the inbound, there's Lofton over to, Ke over to Duncan. All the way to Farquhar, Landry. And he, uh, he was, they lost him completely. He slid under the radar, was able to have a nice easy layup under the glass for two. Yeah, great job moving without the basketball for the big guy. Now Reed. Nice wow. spin. Talk about a reach far away and still able to get the spin off the glass. Exactly. Duncan now gets it over to Lofton. Lofton to Landry now. They work it on the bell. I'm sorry, they get it over to Andre. Work it inside. A little spin won't go. Rebound Brockton. Now Blakely trying to push it. He slows it down. He can take off at any minute. Now Reed. Trying to look for a cutter, little switch. Back over to Biddle sees the lane. And he got hurt, no call. They can say he lost control of the ball. Yeah, but there was contact. Look at the guy's hurt. He was hit right in the chest with the body-to-body -body contact and no call. Unbelievable. That's the yikes call, right? The yes. Yikes. Off the inbound, Brock goes to a, a, full, a full press, a little trap, but didn't. And then they fall back into their half-court defense. Around they go, Burton now. Burton back over to Lofton. He'll step back, he'll, oh! oh! Benno, he'll finish with the right hand. Picked his pocket, clean. Lead is one, 32-31. Boxes have done it again, they've come back from, from seven. Lofton covered by Biddle. Over to the far baseline, Landry had a clean look. He didn't take yeah, the didn't shot. Yeah, didn't take the shot. Now he kicks it back out to Andre. Duncan falls short. It will be Boxer's ball. Yeah, nice defense right there by the Boxers. Two good defensive plays in a row for the Boxers. One with a, with, it ended up in two points, the other one an air ball by the, by the opponent. Biddle, nice pass initially. Ooh, you slipped in the parquet. Robinson saved it. Blakely for three. Won't go. They're going to call on the big man. They'll we'll call that on Biddle. I think he said 20. And why is it not going on the scoreboard? All right, so here we go. They go to the full court press. Trying to trap him. And Landry comes up with the ball. Covered by Nichols. Gets it over to Duncan. Duncan covered by Blakely. Going to watch what he's doing. Kicks it back out baseline. Trying to arrive. Lost, lost it. Kicked it over to Landry. To Burton now. Burton. There's a look. Won't go. As brother shot on the follow up and they hit it. Nice job off the glass. The lead is back up to three. Blakely to Biddle. Biddle covered by Brothers. Back to Robinson, he's three. That's short. Rebound Tigers, Duncan, long pass to Brothers. Too strong. And then he gets his own rebound and it's it off the glass. Yeah, nice recovery there by Burton. Excellent athleticism by that young man. Bento and Lane get ready to check in for the boxers. Now Reed. He's blocked. We're going to call a foul. An offensive foul on Reed. A tough call right there, but that's going to be his fourth. Third or fourth. That's going to hurt. Yeah, but he's Coach um, Bowen's going to keep him in. Now off the inbound, officially 440 left in the third quarter. Yeah, I mean, there was some contact, but I don't think it was enough contact to call a, um, a charge, if that was the call. Now in the, 
Now Duncan, covered by Blake. He's gonna try to use his speed off the glass, wow. and he does. Yeah, went right past Diamond, and that's that's a pretty good move, because Diamond Blakely himself is a pretty fast and good defensive player. Now oh. Blakely, his version inside the bento was uh, fouled, oh. Can't finish it, but he'll go to the free throw line. I bet he wants that back. Yeah. So he'll go to Charity Stripe to shoot a couple. Lead is seven now. Back up to seven for the Tigers. 4.09 officially left in this third quarter. I think if Bento, if he had a little bit more spring in his um, his legs, he could have went right up and dunked that in. But he's not that type of ball player. Hits the first. Here's the second, hits them both. Nice. Excellent job from the charity stripe by Bento. They go man to man here on this defense. Duncan using the speed, he stops. Yeah, Diamond Blakely's got his hands full with that guard, quick guard there. Two quick guards going head to head. Andre lost, well actually Robinson did a great, like you said, just did a great job defensively. Too bad it didn't have more real estate on the court. He probably could have so, oh, nice. we're gonna have a violation. Nice Game defense. Possession. Great defense. By uh, Robinson. And here come the boxes. They've cut the lead back down to five. They've done this a couple times. And actually had the lead a couple times in this first half. Now in the third quarter, Robinson. Moving, trying to go around Andre. Tipped, Reed initially deflected, gets it. Out to Blakely. They're going to get him for their travel. I, I don't know. I didn't see him move his feet. He was so quick. I think he fooled the referees. Definitely fooled me. Yeah. Fans didn't like it either. 340 officially left in the third quarter. And a 38-33 to 33 Tiger lead. Now Andre covered by Robinson. Over to Landry. Thinking about working on the side. Kicks it all the way up to the far side. There's his shot. Oh, nice play by Lamb, but they're going to say he was on the line. Oh, that was a nice try. It was. Good defensive play by the boxes. Lane had his foot on the, um, the line there when he retrieved the basketball from the nice block. All right, so here we go. Off the inbound. In the boxes. In the boxes and all the way out to Andre DeLandry. Over the baseline, there's a shot and hits. Took advantage of the defensive breakdown there. Har Har Hargens. Now Blakely, Tulane. Lead back up to seven. Nice shot oh. by Lane, that smooth. Beautiful stop and pop by the guard. Three minutes left in the third, in the third period. And actually Lane's playing a small forward. Gonna get a probably a reach on Bento. Yeah. Yep. All right, so here we go in the Brockton end. 251 officially left in the third quarter. And it looks like Landry's out. And Barber Barber is in for the Tigers. Duncan now. The bell shirt is Duncan. His floater won't go. Tipped. Oh, what a great play by Blakely to save that ball. Robinson and wow! Holy smokes! That he put absolutely. that ball all around his body, behind his back, and floated it in. Wow, that was pretty. Yes. It's even better when you get to see it in real time. Yes. So with that being said, we're going to have a couple changes. Duncan will go out for the Tigers, and Lofton checks back in. On the inbound, back up to Lofton, covered by Lane. Oh, Lane kick, hit his kick ball. Where's the kick ball? Lofton for three. That's short. 
Bento there for the boxes. Now Blakely will smartly slow it down. Now he's gonna use his speed. He'll readjust. Now he'll drive. No kicks up to Xavier for three. Bang! And we're tied at 40 with two minutes exactly left in the third period. That shot woke up the crowd. Now Andre, covered by Robinson, kicks it over to Bellhoot. Now back out to Andre. Berber. That was a moving pick. And a base hits. Number Top. five. Bullshit. Timeout, timeout, Tigers. Here's your situation. 137 left in the third period. 43 to 40 Tigers in this non-league conference. What a great game. Yeah, I tell you, one dangerous thing about the Tigers, they know how to hit them shots in the corner. Either corner, they've been some big shots out of those corners to kind of calm down the crowd a little bit. But the boxers gotta, just got to keep pressing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Our next game, Tuesday night, as the Lady Whalers come in. And our Lady Boxers will host them in a Southeastern Conference matchup. Tip off at 6.30, should be a great game. This game is definitely a test of conditioning. Yeah, and, and the Boxers really putting a lot of pressure on the guards where they've picked their pocket a few times, made them, made, they've made some mistakes. They just gotta keep pressing. Um, try not to make f obvious fouls, but um, they've, been a do they've been doing a pretty good job on the defense against these, these tough uh, New Bed excuse me, Newton North um, guards that they have. Boxers are going with Robinson, Olibu, Xavier Lane, and Bento. Lofton on Olibu, Xavier for three. Hits. Yes. That's a couple he's hit in this third quarter. And which the boxes desperately need. Now they try to work it around the front. Nice tight defense by the boxes. Lofton has a look though. And he's fouled. They're going to call that on Olable. And I believe he's shooting three. Yeah. Usually you don't want to try to make fouls out there in the three-point land. No, not at all. This is the first. One of the few misses here for the Newton North Tigers. They're, again, very good free throw shooting team. Yeah, they had a high percentage in that first half in the charity strike. Here's the second. Misses that one. Wow. Burton getting ready to check in for the Tigers. Here's the second. Good, rec the second. good recovery there because you missed two in a row and it starts working on you in the, in the mind and he's going to come take a break. Yeah, Lofton will take a seat. Lead is one. 44-43. One minute, approaching one minute left in the third period. Olawo, Robinson. Back to Olawo. All the way to Xavier for three. Yes! Yes! He's got the hot hand right now from the outside, Dan. 46-44, approaching 45 seconds left in the third period. Duncan to Burton, inside. To Berber, tries to work, he dragged his foot. Good defense in there for Xavier to go put his hand in there, make the offensive player move his feet there. If he was smart, if he has his position, he would have drew a foul. Yeah. But I'm not the guy with the big guy in my face, so I only can see it, from the, I only can see it with you from the table. I hear you, Dom. All right, here we go. All of them now. Brockton is, has a lead again. Their first lead here in the second half. All of them thinking about driving, and he's fouled. Wow. Pretty strong kid for him to still get that shot off, and the big man had... Had the all block, on, yeah, all over him, and he still got it off with the man, with the um, Newton North player, his hands on the ball. He's a big baskets now.
hits the first. Well, they're all big baskets, but I mean, the game's so yes. close. And these athletes on both teams are so evenly matched. Twenty-eight point six eight, twenty-eight point six tenths of a second, and Ola was going to try to extend the lead to forty. Does forty-eight forty-four Brockton, and like you said, Dom, big shots right there at the free throw line, going in here to the fourth quarter. Now Duncan, shot clock is off. Approaching fifteen seconds left. Duncan doesn't know what to do. He tries to get the man. He walked. Walked. Yes, Definitely got the and, and he felt the defender right behind him on the play. I think it was Olawood, and um, he got a little nervous and traveled. 12.7 tenths of a second left. Yeah, Coach Bowen shouting out the, um, the deep uh, offensive play. I guess referee Sam, when they pass the ball in, clock never started. All right, so here we go. All the won't. Whoa. Bento for three. Yes! Now, I've never seen Bento jump that high. <laughs> I guess you would after hitting the, the big man hitting a three like that. Nice call by Coach Bowen. Yeah, he did say top of the key. After three periods of play, your score, Brockton 51, Newton North 44. Wow, what a way to start this fourth, this fourth period. Well, I'll tell you, what happened in that third wow. quarter, Dom, great defense by the um, boxers at top, putting pressure on the guards, but also then some big outside shots, like, for instance, Xavier, and then Bento to end that third quarter, but between the great defense out top and, and some big shots from the outside, that's why Box has got a six-point lead. Excuse me, seven point lead. Yeah, they got it, they did it. Now they, exactly, now they have their version of a seven point lead. They come back, I think, believe, I believe that's the biggest deficit we've seen that they climbed out, that they've climbed out of. And now, like you said, they currently have a seven point lead. So it's gonna be interesting to see how they battle here. See, and, and one key is you're gonna see Newton North really kick it up here in this fourth quarter. So bro boxers have to, keep it at that high level in, of intensity on defense to um, to shake down this Newton North team and, and keep them from coming back with a lead. Like, like you said, we only got eight minutes left in the ball game, so boxers cannot afford to get back down. They need to somehow try to keep this lead, whatever amount that might be, here in the fourth quarter. All right, so here we go. Olawo over to Xavier. To Lane from the far baseline, he's going to try to drive, and he trips. And we're going to have a, we're going to have an offensive foul or a defense. What are we going to get? And we're going to get an offensive foul. There was some hand contact. They're going to get Lane push. on. Oh no, they're going to get the. Yeah, they're going to get that on the other guy. Yep. Yeah, on a push. Yeah. All right. So on the end, but I keep on forgetting Lane's not an inbound ball player. Uh, tipped and deflected by the Tigers in transition. Yeah, not a good choice right there. Andre, they're going to get Duncan for, for the travel. Yeah, this Brockton defense got the, uh, again, got the guards a little bit Yancey out there for Newton North, and they need to calm down. The lead is seven, 51 44. Xavier now. All over to Olawu. Going to try to go around. The big man. They worked all the way to the far side of the perimeter. They're going to have a foul. Uh, on you know, he did put, but there wasn't a lot of contact there. Just because he saw the elbow go out doesn't mean, I, I saw more contact than other plays. That, that wasn't a good call. All right, so another a, a break here for the Tigers as we change possession. And Landry, Landry, excuse me, thinking about driving. Lane almost picked his pocket. Driving all the way, going to have offensive foul. Nice take, Bento yeah. taking that, the big man taking to the court as Brothers char gets, gets charged with the offensive charge. Yeah, good call right there. 
I don't want to say makeup call, but that was a good call. There was a charge. Yeah, he held his feet. He took that all yeah. the way. Approaching seven minutes left in the game. Olawu now trying to go around Lofton. Kicks it to Robinson. Robinson momentarily lost it, guided by Andre. Thinking about using the pick. And we're gonna have a reach on Andre. Yeah, there, there was contact. Not a lot, but there was some contact. So we'll have another inbound pass in the Newton North End. Nice to see it go the other way. <laughs> Off the inbound. All of them now again covered by Lofton. As the boxers switch it up under the hoop. Over to Xavier comes out. He helps out. They'll wind it up again. And they'll switch it up. Xavier wants a pick. Robinson for three. Bang! The boxes have extended their lead to 10. Big shot right there, Dom, by Todd. Now Andre Duncan, covered by Reed, tries to work it inside the Landry. Landry, covered by Bento, he pivots. Now Lofton. As they drive, kick it back out to Andre. Duncan definitely traveled that time. And when he traveled, Dom, on, on that play, there was only three seconds left on the shot clock. So great defense by the boxes. The boxes are currently extended the lead 54 44. Duncan comes out, and I believe that, if I got my numbers right, that's Burton checking in. Great, great ball players on this Newton North team. Down to six minutes left in the game. All the way with a nice fake. Battle for three. And they're going to have a foul on, La on Landry. Not a good foul by the big man. He was, that was a three-point shot. Let him take it. But not a good, good play by the uh, Newton North big man there, number 33, uh, Landry. So now Biddle, will, now Biddle will go to the charity stripe for a cup. We'll go for three shots. I almost said a couple. Almost ate my shoe that time saying that. Boxes need every point they can get from yep. here on. Absolutely. Again, this Newton North team is very dangerous. Oh. This is the second one. He's trying. He's getting, he's getting closer. <laughs> Bento checks in. Nichols. Bento checks out. Nichols checks in. Yeah, and a great job by Bento while he was in there. Just did an outstanding job playing good defense and had a couple good shots. Uh, misses all of them. Ooh. Rebound Nichols, though, on the boards. Oh, he can't finish. Uh, on the boards, Landry for the Tigers. Such a great effort. It's just too bad he couldn't finish it. Now Andre. He was thinking about using Landry. They work it down low. Back over to Landry again, covered by Nichols. Five seconds in the shot clock. Lofton. Jump shot, won't go, tip, good boards by Burton for the Tigers. Andre for three. Air ball. Oh, what a great play, great defensive play by Hargens. He had enough, he had enough composure to, to throw the ball off of, I think that, yeah, that was Reed. So yeah. it will be Tigers ball. I was Close play looked like, it, to me, the angle, I didn't have a good angle. It looked like it went off one of the Newton North players right there, but the referee had a better angle. And, and a great job by uh, Olawu coming out for a well-deserved hand. That ball's tipped off the inbound, recovered by the boxers. Now Robinson. Approaching five minutes left in the game. Biddle now. Nichols. That's high, tipped, recovered by the Tigers. And in comes Duncan. Andre stops, moves. Duncan had the shot. He stops. I'm going to try to drive inside. And see, it's Burton, who was basically uncovered. They all went on Duncan. And that was an easy pass by a small ball player. We have a timeout. Timeout, Newton North. 
Four minutes, 42 seconds left. The lead is eight. Yeah, and like you teams at six per team fouls. Like you said, Don, that was a smart play right there by the guard. He, he let the defense commit, and he found a wide open um, teammate underneath for the easy two. You know, we knew, it was gonna, we knew we had two good athletic teams, and we definitely have proven that they're two smart teams. And right now we have that eight-point lead. Hopefully those three charity stripe shots won't come back and hurt us. I mean, still a lot of game left game to play. Yep, 442, a lot of basketball left here in Staff Gymnasium. Here on Victor M. Ortiz Court. When I believe he was in the corner just earlier in the game. So, oh, he's right there, there he is in the corner. Yeah, big fan, Coach Ortiz, even though he's not coaching again. And, and, and the, the boot, it's Super Bowl Sunday. And it's Super Bowl Sunday, absolutely. I just want to hit a square for once. Me too. <laughs> Me too. That will, that will be definitely off my bucket list. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here we go. After that timeout by Newton North, there's Blakely back in the game. Gets it over to Reed, covered by Burton. Works it around the perimeter, top of the key, over to, Bur to Blakely. Inside the nickels, the big man, and he's fouled. Good whistle right there. Nice strong move to the basket by Nichols, and he'll be rewarded at the free throw line. So that puts uh, that puts Brockton in the bonus, because that is officially 17 fouls for the Tigers. Gee, that's a shocker. It's four, still 427 left, and and, it's, and um, boxers are in the bonus. Big man misses the first. That, that must be driving Coach Bowen crazy. Oh, he's pulling his hair out of his head. What's left of it, right? The poor guy. <laughs> These are such big shots now. Ah, uh, misses them both. That's five points that could have been added to this yeah. lead. Let's see how the boxes defense bit. Definitely gonna get tested now. Andre now driving baseline, looks. Far baseline for Lofton. Won't go, rebound Brockton. Oh, nice job by Blakely, getting the big body up there. Now four minutes left in the game. Excuse me, Nichols, I'm sorry, that was Nichols with the big rebound. Blakely, what a nice move, he puts the Jets on. Spins inside the Nichols, turn around, gets his own rebound. Oh, uh, he can't finish. Nichols having a tough, job, tough time today, finishing off those um, shots underneath the basket with bodies all over him. One thing about the boxes, they're making it up on the defensive side for yeah, the five points, so exactly. they definitely could have added, so. That's promising, that's definitely a plus. You can look later on the game film and see. And all of a sudden the box has gotten cold on the free throw line. Not a, not a good time to get to be um, cold on the free throw line. That's six in a row, let's break it right now. Let's break the streak. Oh, he misses, that's eight. All right, here we go, under 315 running left in the game. Duncan now covered by Biddle. 54-46. They work around the far side. It is a little off the glass. Oh, and, a, what a, and, and Burton, what a uh, great heads up play. Picked wow. his pocket. Picked his pocket is right. Nichols had no idea. He no. just already thought he was down court. He wasn't nonchalant about it, but he still needed to pay attention. With that being said, 54-48. Approaching three minutes left in the game. Reed had a shot. His little, his little floater won't go. Rebound Tigers. On the, on the break. Andre. Landry. Burton. Looking for a cutter. Back out to Andre, covered by Blakely. Burton again, trying to move. Spins over to Andre now. Back to Burton. Five seconds on the shot clock. Oh, and that's definitely blocked. Nice block. Wow. And they're going to call They're going to call it on Todd Robinson. I didn't see the foul. I didn't see it either. 2.39 on the clock. Coach Bowen wants an, wants an explanation on the call. And he's grinning like, no, I can't believe this. All right, so here we go. As Hargens hits the first. 
Brockton lead is now five. That big man, he definitely needs to get some water. Nichols, as Bento checks in for him. So we have two good big men in Bento and Reed. He misses the second. Rebound Brockton. Brockton needs some points down here in this, this offensive possession. And tipped away by Landry. It'll be Brockton ball on the inbound in the Tigers' end. Just to break the drought. Yep, gotta get the rhythm back. Need the rhythm back. Bento off the inbound, over to Biddle. Biddle to Blakely. Bento, I thought that was almost gonna be a pick there for a second. Now Robinson gonna try to drive four seconds, turns, moves, his floater, that's short. Approaching two minutes left in the game. Oh, Robinson almost picked the pocket at half, at half court. Now driving is Hargens. Oh, nice D. Rebound Brockton. Blakely. Timeout, timeout, Brock. Yes. Yeah, yeah, good good timeout right here Absolutely. by Coach Bowen. Settle his team down because they haven't gotten any points. I'd say in the last three minutes at least. Yeah, including the charity stripes for eight. We're all for eight those last three those last three times of the charity stripe. Yep, and Newton North has slowly creeped back into this ball game with only a minute fifty left in this in uh, in the game. There's a reason why they came in this eleven and two and they're showing it. So after the game. Miles and myself, we're going to try to grab our what we believe is going to be the Brockton player of the game, player of the game, win or lose, hopefully a win, and uh, we'll just ask their thoughts on that before we go away. Well, as far as uh, MVP, it's been real tough. I I'm still quite. It, it, it might come down to the last minute, 50 seconds, but it's been a pretty team type game for the boxes. Yeah, uh, you might have someone, but I'm right now. I'm just. Right now, I have no one in mind. No one in mind. I'm going to steal. I'm gonna, not going to steal. I'm going to look over at the scorebook and <laughs> make that, yes. make, you know, help that. that. That will definitely help me out. I know Bento had a good game. He had a, he had a key three to end, to end the third period. Yeah. And T then Xavier had a couple key yes. threes. Todd Robinson's uh, played a real solid game with his defense, and he's hit a couple of big shots. All right, coming out of the timeout. Biddle now, trying to drive his shot, block, gets his own block shot. Bento for a long shot, that's off. Rebound, Tigers. Gonna try to drive all the way, that's Burton. And he gets fouled. That was a good foul Go by um, Biddle. Let him earn it at the fr uh, free throw line. One twenty-six left in the game. And a very good shooter, and Burton will go to the charity stripe, hit the first. The lead is four. And you can tell the body language of Newton North that they've got a momentum going on right Absolutely. now. Absolutely. Here's his second. Misses the second. Rebound Brockton. Reed's going to try to drive. Go Damn, there was just body contact. Where is the foul? We'll have a foul on Blakely. Where was the body contact foul down here? Unbelievable. He went to the basket, the man was in the air with him, and there was body, obvious body contact and no call. And he was in the, he was in the means of taking a shot. Yes. 116 left in the game. Unbelievable. And Duncan will go to the charity stripe. Hit the first to get to gets another shot. I tell you, Newton North has taken advantage at the free throw line. They're making their shots. They're doing exactly what Brockton did. They got the momentum now, and they're coming back from that deficit. Here's the second shot. Missed the second shot. Rebound Brockton. Blakely now. Yeah, one position, uh, one possession game for Time, right now. Yeah, timeout, timeout, Brockton, 54-51. The Tigers have battled back from what was once a 10 point Brockton lead. Again, 110 left in the game. Both teams, well, one more foul, and then uh, one more foul by the Tigers, and the uh, boxes would be in the double bonus. 
But I don't understand why there was nothing called when yeah. he drove off the baseline like that. Well, right now, the boxers have the ball. They need to make make a shot. Yeah. They they really need to make a shot here to um, ease things a little bit. Because right, they need to make it a two-possession game. Right now, it's a one-possession game. They really need to put the ball in the basket for just their um, mental Absolutely. momentum. They, they, they need something in the hole. All right, so as you come out of this timeout. So again, big offensive possession here for the boxes. 110 on the clock. So Robinson is the high scorer for Brockton right now. Thank you, sir. Off the inbound, approaching a minute left in the game. Blakely. Robinson for three. That's short, rebound Tigers. 54-51. Duncan over to Andre for three, and he's fouled. Call that on Reed. I believe that's uh, Navon's fourth. Not a good foul, because that's, that's a three-point. Yeah. Newt North could possibly tie this up in the way they've been shooting their free throws. It's a good possibility. Brockton still cold at their end on offense. Hits the first. Are they supposed to be getting water while they're considered in the game? Hits the second. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They're taking a water break. 47-51. Forty-seven point six tenths of a second. The Brockton lead is now one. This is the tie of the game, and he ties the game. Can't say it enough. Boxes need a basket. Blakely now covered by Duncan to try to drive. Timeout. Smart timeout. Timeout. Coach Bowen of Brockton. 36.5 tenths of a second, 19 seconds on the shot clock, and we're now tied at 54. Yep, coming down to the last few shots. Gonna be interesting, very interesting. You know, maturity is such a big thing in games like this, losing your composure and trying to do too much at this level. It's so key, and it's so, I mean, we've been there, we rode that train. And for these young men, it's a new step in their life. They don't realize it. All they know is they love the game. And by the time they commit the violation, or whatever, whatever the situation is, they either get the other team going to charity strap, or they have a turnover, or another easy basket. Well, I tell you, I know who's itching to get in there is um, Xavier. He's hit some big shots in yeah. this ball game. And, um, but the boxers are going with um, their starters, except for Bento. He's in there. And we'll see how this plays out. All right, so here we go. Down to 15 seconds on the shot clock. Blakely over to Robinson. Coach Conley out calling Flex. Reed, his shot is blocked. Or stolen, I should say. Yeah, good defense by the uh, Newton North Tigers. There is 16 seconds left of the game. Timeout, timeout, Coach Conley of Newton North. Now down to 16.3 tenths of a second. And the scary part about this right now with Newton North with the ball, they can hit, out, hit that outside shot. Can't leave those wings open. No, can't leave them open. Test for boxer defense right here. Absolutely. And, and the boxers can't ill afford to foul either because no. Newton North has been just um, game on here as far as free throw shooting. Yep. Yeah. 
So Robinson has officially 15 points in the game. We'll have an inbound pass, inbound pass right in front of us. And again, 16.3 tenths of a second, tied at 54. You have the Bay State Carry Division leading Newton North and the Southeast Conference leading Brockton Boxers going down to the proverbial wire here. On the inbound, there's Hargens trying to go around Biddle. Good defense by Biddle. Took four seconds off the clock. Yep, yep, yep. It will be, again, Tiger's ball. Andre on the, let's see if they switch up on the inbound. Hargens covered by Biddle. 10 seconds. Over to Duncan. They're gonna try to get the best shooter of a chance to shoot the ball. He lost the ball. They were. <laughs> oh, they got. There's a foul, there's a foul. Yeah, he's gonna go to the line. He has a chance to win the game. Oh, come Lincoln on, they gotta to give it to him. Evade. He was shooting the shot and he was fouled. They want to see, was he, in the, was, he in the, was he in the motion of shooting the ball before he got fouled? Yes. 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 And the crowd appreciates the call. It was well deserved. He definitely was already in the yeah. motion when he released the shot. He released the shot. And he was hammered. All he needs is one. This is almost like the halftime show where you win the free pizza from the athletic director. Yes. <laughs> Let's hope Brockton gets the free pizza. And four point, there you go. Point four seconds. Four tenths of a four second. Four tenths of a second. Coach Conley's living. He's living. There I mean, was some contact under there, yeah. but this is the way the officials have been calling the game both oh, ways. Yeah. All we need is two would be nice, but we can just get one, at least one. Here's the first. Oh. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, ah. Uh. He hits this, this game's over. There is a lot of pressure. It is. Oh. oh. He gets one more. He gets one more because he was at three, right. yep, three point shot. Timeout, and now that's, that's, that's like freezing. This is like freezing the kicker in football. You know, I'm not out there shooting the free throw, <laughs> and I'm nervous. I'm ner I can imagine what this poor kid is feeling like uh, um, up, up there on the free throw line. I wouldn't want to be in that position. No, me neither. God. You know, 0.4 tenths of a second is not a lot of time to get a shot off. So Blake, Blake Blakely really needs to hit this shot. Absolutely. We do not want to go into overtime here on Super Bowl Sunday. We want to get home and get ready for that Super Bowl. I, I agree, my friend. I totally agree. Well, we're going to try to get Robinson over here. And we'll talk to him a little bit. Todd Robinson, we'll feel, put him in the middle of us. and. Uh, yeah, if, if um, Brockton can come out of here with when Todd Robinson, definitely MVP for his boxer team, played great defense, great offense, and um, good team ball. Yeah, that's just no fashion freezing the kicker before he kicks the ball. Exactly. Point four tenths of a second. Ah. And we'll go into overtime. And you know what? You got two conference, you got two conference leaders, and we were expecting something like this. I thought it was gonna go three points or two points, or even one point, either, you know, either way, but 
This is exactly what you want from the Southeastern Conference leading boxers. Well, that, that, that's a tough pill to swallow because the boxers have gone stone cold on the free throw line as well as um, outside shooting and inside shooting. They just have been, not been able to buy a shot in the last four minutes of this ball yeah. game. If you think about it, uh, three chances from the free throw. That free, actually now four chance. I'm sorry, eight. So that would be 19, 11 chances from the free throw, plus from the field itself. And and that's why it's going in overtime. That's that's the reason it's we're going into a five minute overtime is because of um, box the boxes have gone stone cold on the offensive end. This is a good chance for the boxes to get their rhythm up, get back into it. This could be the break they need. I know they didn't want it, but unfortunately. Yep. And 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 assistant coach is talking to Diamond Blakely. He's got to sh forget it. You you got four minutes to play in this um, overtime period, and just forget about it and and come out here like it's a brand new ball game. All right, so here we go, off the tip. We start overtime here at Brockton High School, four minute, a four minute quarter. Tipped and won by the Tigers, as Duncan will start this overtime. Andre over to Burton, over to Hargens. Back over to Duncan. And good call. For an offensive. Yeah, good call, I thought it was a trip, Burton. but he's calling the body. That's four on Burton. All right, boxers need to click on offense. Get the momentum back in their confidence. Robinson to Reed. Reed knows what he did run. There's Blakely now. Covered by Duncan. He's gonna try and long pass. Oh, oh Bento! Bento. Great job by Bento and the boxes yes. currently have a two point lead. Nice drive by Blakely. Tried to put it high off the glass. And from the baseline, hits. Andre for three. The yeah. lead is one. Yeah, Andre's hit some big shots from the corner. He, yeah, he has. Andre officially had a, had the, had a steal, lost his balance, and Brockton took it back. Now Blakely trying to drive. He got fouled. No yes, shot. No, sh no call. No call. No call. He took it right in the yes. face. All right, now Duncan. He literally took an elbow yeah. in the face. And no call. Duncan now bounce pass. Oh, Biddle. by Biddle with the right hand and he fouled. I'm shocked, he called the foul, I'm shocked. But great, great defensive play by Biddle. So a very close foul on an easy layup. Yeah. And the kid gets a, sh and a, a shoulder to the face. No call. No call. All right. I mean, I didn't see much of a foul on the layup, but this should have been a foul called on Diamond Blakely. Right. I mean, called, uh, yeah, because uh, he would, like you said, he took a shot to the face and chest and no call. Oh boy, all we can do is go yikes. All right, so here we go. 224 officially, le officially left in overtime. Biddle trying to make this a three point play and give Brockton a two point lead. Again, 224 left in the overtime. And he, oh, in and out. Long, long pass in transition. Now Bovell in the game. Andre covered by Robinson. A lead is one for Brockland. Landry inside. Bovell outside to Hargens. Back out to Bovell. Back to Landry. Covered by Bento. Trying to move big man on big man. Trying to drive inside past Burton. Oh. And he lays it off the glass. And he won the foul. Conley won the foul. Coach Conley thought he got, he got hit inside. I don't know. Nice job by Burton with protect the basketball with his body. Oliver now, Robinson, he sees something, he pivots, he looks out to Oliver. 138 left and a one point lead. 
And they're going to say it was last touched by the Tigers. So it'll stay Brockton's ball. That was a close, that was a close call. I couldn't see quite who, which Tiger touched it, but. I, I knew there were a lot of Tiger shirts under that. Yeah. All right, so on the inbound. In the Tigers end, now down to 134 left. Reed inside, we're gonna have a foul on number, let's see what we get on that, number third, they're gonna call that on Hargens. He's another guy who's had a great game for Newton North. Yep. And, and Andre too, number 11. Now this guy, Navon Reed, good free throw shooter. He's been quiet most of the game. Big shot right there. That's what they need. Chance for Reed to give the Brock to give Brockton a one-point lead with 133 left in the overtime. Hit them both. That's what, we, that's what they need. Get out of that rut. Under, yep. Off the charity strike. Yep, nothing but bottoms. Now Bravell almost gets his pocket picked by Oliver. Trying to use his God-given speed. Kicks it over to Burton. Burton's little hook pass won't go. Rebound Reed. And Come on. Have a foul. Oh. He's on it over the top. He's over the top. Gonna... Good call by the referee right there. They're going to call that on Burton. That's yeah. going to be five for Burton. Burton. Good call. Good call. All over his back. And, and, and Newton North's coach is livid. Coach but come Conley, on. Coach Conley might get teed up. If he ain't careful, he could get he could get teed up. Oh, and he's fouled out. Yeah, Burton fouled out. Thank goodness. 118 left in the game and a one-point lead for the boxes, and Reed will go to the charity stripe for a couple. Duncan checks back in. They definitely need his speed. Duncan's got on some colorful sneakers. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, misses the first. Critical point right here. The, they, need to, they need to be up by at least two. Hits the second. Off the inbound. Plays a tight man. Now Duncan covered by Olawu. Approaching a minute left in overtime. Landry covered by Bento. Over to Hargens, Hargens now. To Andre, top of the key. Robinson almost had a swipe at the ball. And now Bouvel lost the ball. On the Where's floor. the whistle? Should have been a jump ball. Now around the perimeter, one second, that's a violation. Well, it's that, that's violation, yeah. I and, was and, waiting for what's the Yeah, where, where's the um I don't know. Tied up ball. That should have been a jump ball. Referee telling the coach for Newton North to relax. No, 47, there you go, Point 47.3. Three. But we do have a shot clock violation, so that's correct. But I was learning about why we didn't have a, the jump ball. I guess they, in their opinion, they believed they, did, they, didn't, they both didn't have enough possession of the ball to fight because the ball was basically a loose ball on the floor. I mean, that's what I saw. I mean, I, you know, I was, I've, we've seen it so many times as you and I have been calling these games that's called for a jump ball in the past. Yeah, exactly, in the past, they've called it a jump ball. Now with 35 seconds left. All of old. Bento. Robinson. 10 seconds left in the shot clock. He's going to try to drive. He slows himself down. Five seconds left. Timeout. Timeout. Brockton. With four and seconds on the shot clock. I don't think Robinson had any, had any idea what the shot clock was. Maybe that's why Coach called a timeout. 
because he was still trying to work. The, he looked like he was still trying to work the ball around the perimeter, all look for a cutter, and that wasn't happening. The key to Brockton making this basket, it'll make it a two-possession game yep. with 21 seconds on the clock right now. I'm sh of course, it, when they inbound the ball, the, the time will tick down, but the boxers critically need some type of points put up here, preferably a two-point or three-point play to make it a two-possession game for them. Absolutely. So here's your situation, folks. Four seconds on the shot clock. 21.3 tenths of a second left in overtime. 61-59, Brockton. And when you have two teams that will probably see each other in the south sectional, and you have two conference leaders going at it, this is the hype I was expecting a game like this. Yeah, both teams, both have 11 wins. And they both lead their conference. Yep. On the inbound, Robinson, three, long three. Bang! Wow! Bang! Big shot right there, that's a clutch shot. That's an MVP shot right there. Wow. Now Duncan wow. from downtown, won't go. Another shot off that one, rebound won't go. Goes out of bounds, it'll be Brockton ball. And the Brockton boxers are going to come away and improve to 12 and 1. I tell you, that was a tough shot by Todd Robinson. Man all over, like a turnaround, and hit the big shot out there. How about fading away? Fading away and still hit it. The Brockton boxers improved to 12 and 1. And we're going to get, try to get Todd, see if we can get Todd Robinson here. So can you make it? Can you make a crazier shot than that in the corner on that on that yeah. wing? What were you thinking? Honestly, coach ran the play because yep. we stole it from them. They ran it the whole game. Yep. And coach set it up for me to shoot the ball because we only have four seconds left. At first, I didn't think he was gonna like get that close. Right. And I realized I had to shoot it, so I just ran. He was on you like a jacket for crying out loud. I was loud. leaning backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I just tossed it and it went in. Last time we checked, you had 15 points halfway through the fourth. Mm -hmm. You hit that roughly around 18, 18 points. Mm -hmm. What a big win. What, what was, what's, the, what's, what's your mindset after that? Great win, by the it way. It was a big, that's a statement game. Yeah, absolutely. There's a lot of places that are like putting out the rankings and putting us real low. Yeah. Like eight, 10. We want to be one. We want to be the best in the league. And they beat us last year in the playoffs. So we had to come back and make the statement again. Yep. Todd, let me let me ask you a question. How did it feel when y'all went in that cold spell? How, how was your confidence out there? Because y'all went in a pretty cold Honestly, spell there in the fourth quarter. When we went cold, the only thing I kept telling them was to um, keep the defense up there and keep go. the confidence because the offense that we have is going to start from our defense. Our defense is so strong. And that's all I had to, had to keep telling them on the huddle, keep your head up and keep the defense strong. Great game. Because if we don't score, they don't score. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, besides now, uh, well, he just basically has this. He basically has the same question. I was, to, I was going to try to see how I could word it, but great job, young man. That was yeah, fun. Sure. To, fun to we at a ball calling it. And we knew it was going to be tight. Mm -hmm. You guys already knew what type well, of we team they were. Be a tough game, yep. Yeah. And you could meet them again in the sectionals. Yeah. Right. It'll but be a good game. A good game. Good luck. Yeah, good it. luck. All right. And just remember, Appreciate defense it. wins championships. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, All right. Sir. All right. That's Todd Robinson checking in. For Miles Jackson, I'm Dominic Damiano. We will catch you Tuesday night as the girls come in. Your final score, Brockton 64, Newton North 59. We will catch you next time. Have a great week.